Hey guys, Tony Ash coming to you from Memphis, Tennessee again. Um, since uh, my last video, I think I've added about 5,000 additional miles. Uh, one of the things that, uh, if you watched the first video, or one of the previous videos, was I added the D&D um, two-into-one exhaust system. I added the uh, Screaming Eagle High Flow Heavy Breather Air Cleaner. I also put a Pro Super Tuner on it with uh, about seven hours of dyno time. Southern Thunder Harley Davidson, South Haven, Mississippi. Did all the dyno work, did the uh, install the pipes for me. Uh, that's who I purchased the bike from, great group of guys. So I told you that I'd come back to you with some new things. Um, I've added a couple new things. Uh, my birthday the other day, my wife was kind enough uh, to buy me something I've been meaning to get myself. So we'll swing around to the license plate here. So um, here's the wonderful license plate that Harley puts on the back of their bike. They do this stuff so you buy parts. I've, I always say they should give us the bike as a down payment on parts. But anyway, they don't. They haven't listened to me yet. So see what I got here. I've got the uh, curved contoured license plate from Harley Davidson. There's other brands carry in, but the Harley fitment on this was, I thought was was really good. It's heavy duty. It's heavy, heavy duty chrome. Um, it's a little bit of an effort to put it on. yourself and put the bolts in but not too bad so I think the, uh, the look is really nice and um, again this is a Harley Davidson part here I'm not promoting Harley Davidson parts but it's a it's a good qual high quality part so as well one of the things I added was um, just recently was I added um, these bezels I actually bought these when I was in uh, Sturgis South Dakota at uh, Black Hills Harley Davidson and I put them on when I got back one of the things that's cool, if you come in a little closer, this gap on the 2014, this bracket, this back plate fills that gap. It's smooth, it's gloss black like the inner fairing is. But what I like is these bezels. The bezels, uh, you put them on independently, 3M tape, very, very simple. Just use some alcohol to, to make sure that the uh, surface is clean. But it adds a nice little dimensional look to it. Now they also have the Harley-Davidson little chrome um, uh, stereo plate bracket. Yeah, I don't know. I got some friends that have it. I haven't quite. I'm not quite sold on that thing yet. So at the end of the day, you know what they say: two each his own. So, hey, uh, one of the things I want to come to you and ask you guys questions about is I'm thinking about two additional things. One is is the Harley Davidson uh, heated grips versus heated gloves. I don't have heated gloves. I've got glove liners. I ride in cold weather as well. But I've been thinking about heated grips. I want to get. I want you guys to, to let me know your thoughts. I'd really appreciate it. The other thing is, is I've been contemplating putting speaker lids in here. I know the uh, CVO 2015 Street Light Special has got the 650 watt system that rocks big time. I'm thinking about the speaker lids. So, hey, get back to me. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I appreciate all you guys uh, watching my videos and all the emails have been really great questions. I, I hope I've been able to help you. So let me know speaker lids, uh, heated grips. Let me know what your thoughts are. Last thing before I jump off, my wife and I were just on vacation a couple weeks ago. We were in Maui, did a, uh, a Road to Hana video. So take a look at it, it's pretty cool. Uh, rented a 2015 Softail Heritage Classic. So anyway, hey guys, thanks a lot. Um, as I add new parts, new parts or do new things to it, I'll get back to you. Take care.